A cell is the basic structural and functional unit of all living things. They are too small to see with a human eye. It is necessary to use a microscope. Microscope was invented in 1665 by Robert Hooke, which discovered small box-shaped structures in the cork and called them cellulae. Today we call them cells. Two German scientists, Schleiden and Schwann, studied plant and animal tissues and concluded that both were made up of cells. Later, Virchow uh, proposed that cells divide to form new cells, suggesting that every cell came from a cell that already existed. All these observations are summarized as the cell theory, which has three main principles. The first one is all living organisms are made up of one or more cells. Uh, it means that an organism can have one or many cells. Most plants and animals have many cells. The second principle is the cell is a basic unit of organization in living organism. And the third one uh, tells that all cells come from cells. Cells pass copies of their genetic material onto their daughter cells. The modern cell theory can be summarized as following. The energy flow occurs within cells. The heredity information, DNA, is passed on from cell to cell. All cells have the same basic chemical composition. And a cell is alive because it carries out the vital functions the reproduction, nutrition, and interaction. Every cell has a basic structure, and regarding to the different structures that we can find in a cell, we can differentiate different types of cells. Every cell has a plasma membrane. They have also a cytoplasm. Uh, in the cytoplasm, it's possible to differentiate a cytosol, it is an intracellular fluid. And regarding to the type of cells, into the cytoplasm can be differentiated different organelles also. And finally, one cell has also a nucleus. If the nucleus doesn't have a nuclear envelope, the cell is called prokaryotic. If the nucleus shows as nuclear envelope, it is called eukaryotic. In this slide, we can see two images from a prokaryotic cell and from a eukaryotic cell. Prokaryotic cells are smaller, more simple, the DNA is not surrounded by a nuclear envelope, and they don't have any organelle. On the other hand, eukaryotic cells are bigger, they are more complex, the DNA is surrounded by a nuclear membrane, as this one, and they have organelles. The prokaryotic cells belong to bacteria. In bacteria, the plasma membrane is surrounded by two more envelopes, the cell wall and the capsule. In bacteria, the DNA is not surrounded by a nuclear membrane, so the nucleus is called nucleoid. Although a bacteria doesn't have organelles, they do have ribosomes, which are responsible for proteins production. The plasma membrane shows two types of extensions, the flagellum, long and present in small numbers, and they are useful for locomotion, and pili, short and in large numbers connected to cell communication and reproduction. Bacteria can be classified according to their shape. There are three basic shapes, spherical, rod-shaped, and spiral. Spiral-shaped bacteria can be further categorized depending in part on how much spiraling they show. In this slide, we can see two of them. Left, we can see cocus which are round spherical bacteria. They may, they may be single bacteria 
or they may occur in pairs, chains, or cluster of bacteria. Bacillus are rod shaped bacteria that look like little sausage. They may occur singly or in linked chains. Finally, spiral shaped bacteria include Vibrio, comma shaped, Spirilla, corkscrew like spiral shape, and Spirochetes, long, thin, and flexible corkscrew shaped bacteria.